Hi. <laughs> We're in our car. Bouncing. Bouncing. Because we've got no suspension. Yeah. They know that. Anyway, we're driving back from um, the opening of For Earth's Sake, Vanessa's shop, Vanessa, Nick and Charlie's shop. And it went really well. In Cranley. In Cranley in Surrey. And it went really well. Uh, Jenny Seagrove um, opened it. And we're going to show you the footage. I don't know whether you can see me here. Um, we're going to show I you the footage. You. Um, Paul is off to Ireland, so we're actually going to... Oh, God. <laughs> we're actually going to the airport, and um, then I'll drive the car home. Um, so, yeah, have a look at the footage. See what you think. All went well. I think Vanessa is delighted. Um, everybody's happy. The lots shop, of people turned up. Lots of people. The shop was packed. Absolutely packed. So, um, thanks for watching and here you go. Oh, God. <laughs> thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Bye. So guys, I'm here with the lovely Jenny Seagrove, who I've not seen for quite a number of years. I think the last time was New Year's Eve, many years ago. Many years ago. Many, many oh, no. years ago. Getting old. You're uh, old as I am. Uh, well, <laughs> um, I'm here with Jenny because it's the opening of For Earth's Sake, and Jenny's very kindly um, offered to open the store today. And it's a really great occasion, Jenny. And let's just quickly talk about what Plastic Free means to you. Oh, plastic free means everything to me. For years and years I've been moaning on about the state of the planet and how we're destroying it. And things like this, I mean Vanessa and Nick who are the, the heart and soul behind it are friends of mine. I've known Vanessa for years and years and years. And um, ironically, the, Nick is the most marvellous artist in wood. He's not a carpenter, he's an artist in wood. Oh, I agree. And I've got a sanctuary, a horse sanctuary, for my charity, Main Chance uh, Sanctuary. Ah, yes, Main which Chance. Is, I happen to be wearing their T-shirt today. <laughs> um, and we're not far away, half an hour away, in Compton, near Guildford. And a couple of years ago, I decided I wanted a holding pond, because I, I just think ponds generally are wonderful. And we're on a hill, so a holding pond gathers the water. So I said to Nick and Vanessa, how do you fancy making us a lovely wood bridge across it? Well, it wasn't a, an ordinary bridge. It was a piece of total and absolute beauty and art with a lovely curve with a little owl sitting on it. So they've been working for us. They've done other things. They helped us make a disabled toilet for the um, special wow. needs children who come and visit um, because our horses give so much back. They're all rescued and they give to the children. So when they rang me and they said, would you come and open our shop? A, I was delighted that somebody was doing something like this, which is wonderful, so I can come and buy all my stuff from here. And B, I love them, so why wouldn't I? So here I am, and I think we're gonna plant an apple tree today, which is a symbol of Lovely. Um, fertility and growth and giving back and all of those things. So I am here for Earth's sake, for our planet's sake, for my sake, what better thing to do? And you know what? I think they're probably almost ready for you, Jenny. Oh, how it's exciting. almost 12 o'clock. Thanks so much, Jenny. That's I appreciate it. See you later. Thank you so much for coming along. Come nearer so I can I can talk to you. If you can't hear me, then uh, give me a yell. This is the grand opening of For Earth's Sake. Yay! My other half, who is lurking somewhere in the back, he no, it's not. Like <laughs> right, everybody, turn round and ogle at Nick. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and I, over the last, oh, I don't know, in our own different lives, 20, 30 years, both of us have been concerned about wastage of our amazing precious facilities and, and in the earth and uh, and I have been appalled by the plastic and David Attenborough has sort of become my god and all of these things came together over a period of about 25 years 
Before this, opening this shop, I was uh, in the theatre profession and uh, I toured around with uh, wonderful classical um, Shakespearean shows and I formed a, a company which did a lot of pioneering work into large-scale, beautiful, wonderful, classical children's theatre like Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe and I wanted to make it the best and I wanted to encourage young people to get inspired to go to the theatre to think for themselves not to look at screens all the time and generally uh, theatre is a wonderful forum and then all these years later I found myself again wanting to try and help people young and old on a journey with me to try and work out how we can help in our own individual way to do our bit not to continue to muck up the planet and uh, I've known Jenny for many years far <laughs> too many years <laughs> <laughs> and Nick and I have both done work on occasions when you've been slightly up against it and then Listen, I have a, a whole sanctuary in Compton and Nick and Vanessa because I've known Vanessa when she was a theatre group and a very good one she was too and they helped build me a disabled toilet there because we welcome kids with special needs they built us the most beautiful pot, uh, bridge over our pond so I love this woman she's an inspiration and this shop is amazing and so what we've done is we have tried to say no one will leave with any plastic. We have, and I'm unashamedly, first thing I'm going to say, we have got plastic dispensers. It is the true and proper way of using a very good material called plastic. But it is not going out of the shop. It will be reused. It is already made out of recycled plastic itself. So it will be continuously reused and recycled. And our hope our whole ethos is to recycle things, to repurpose things, to revisit things, to whatever we can do to reuse. Everything in the shop's made of something else, isn't it? It is. And Nick said, I will fit the shop out, but it's got to be in what or how I want to do it. And so about 150 pallets later, <laughs> we have taken them all apart, we have polished them, we have graded them, we have sanded them, we have had them all the way around the kitchen for weeks on end. But they have all now gone into there. Not one single penny has been spent on wood. It has all been found in skips, found everywhere, anywhere, and that stuff that we've got. When you go inside, we have got a lot of dispensers, we have got a lot of scoops. You can bring your own uh, containers to fill, we are going to have next week, but not now, a milk dispenser where you can get your milk. We are going to have fresh seasonal vegetables grown in this country, which are going to be outside here. But again, it was just one bit too far. <laughs> we are very passionate about trying to do our bit as an individual on saving the planet saving animals uh, as far as humans are concerned yes i am concerned for them but they got us into this mess and that they is also us and it is us as an individual and uh, i'm also very aware that myself and i'm sure everybody can have double standards knowingly or unknowingly so yes we can champion and say we are eco-warriors and blah de blah de blah and oh I'm going to go to Tenerife and have a wonderful holiday and I'm going to fly there. So all we're asking everyone to do is to positively just try and think whether things are absolutely necessary, whether we can actually all shop without plastic. It's going to be an experiment because it's not easy but as people are becoming more and more and more aware so are the facilities of not having food in plastic it is happening so together with everybody here the whole of Cranley will get Cranley plastic free we'll get Surrey plastic free and 
eventually the whole country. And I do hope that you continue to shop here. We will have educational programs, we will have demonstrations um, about every other, every other week, about twice, twice a month. And now I'm going to ask Jenny whether you will open the shop <laughs> and plant a tree. Oh, I'd love oh, to plant, plant a tree. tree. I think it's this apple tree, isn't it? Yeah. A symbol of fertility and giving back. So, revisiting and rebirthing. What do you want to see? Just sort of plonk it in and plonk it in. I think it's Jenny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, you grow many apples for many years. <laughs> I'm not sure she'll want to stay here the whole time. She might want to move to an old age sanctuary. Is that for my hand? <laughs> I love, I love Nick and Vanessa, I love wood, I love reusing things, recycling, and how oh, wonderful to see everybody. I think we should just go in and buy, shouldn't we, and have a look around. <laughs> you will find Charlie at the till. He knows most about everything. He knows much more than I do. And you will find friends, and Jean, and Ben, and you'll find friends at various points if you have problems about how to weigh things and things like that. Lead the way, Jenny. <laughs> it's like going into Wonderland. <laughs> So hi Vanessa, it's been the opening day and there's been loads of people. It was absolutely chock full. I know, I full. can hardly get up the shop. <laughs> How do you feel it went? Well, I'm a bit overwhelmed really. Yeah. Um, almost a little bit emotional now. Yeah. I think I've done good. I think you have. <laughs> I think that people seem to think that it's better than they thought, which is always good. And as long as we don't sort of things don't break down or I think it's great. I love it. It's absolutely If I can amazing. help to show people that life can be without plastic yeah. continuously going down drains, going down loos, going into the seas, going into the... It's a tiny drop in the ocean, I know, but we as individuals, we can jolly well do something. And so, number one rule is no plastic in the shop to be taken out. Number two, we can't moan. I don't want to hear any moaning. If we're moaning about things that we can't do anything about, then we shouldn't be moaning because there's nothing we can do. And if there is something we can do about it, we shouldn't moan about it first. We should just get up and do it. Absolutely. And that is my message. If I can, everybody can. So you can come to the shop and you won't get any plastic and you can help help us to open another one somewhere. Absolutely. In another town. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having us. And uh, it's, it's, it's been lovely with you following 
because of course we don't we never have time to do photographs or you know or we'll just take a little so it's been really lovely to have you actually you know following our our journey well it's a tiny tiny part <laughs> of the journey but yeah, we're but really important. pleased to because then we can pass that on to other people absolutely so thank you thanks vanessa <laughs> lots of love and you